Vellani is here with us today. He is a Boise native, and he's, and he's also only 17 years old, but also a senior at UCLA. Yes, that UCLA, and a master in chess. Luke, thanks for joining us here on the Thank News you. at Noon, and you brought your chess board with Thank us, you. or with you. Uh, this is something you've been playing for, uh, for a long time, right? Yeah, I've been playing since I was four when my dad taught me. Your dad taught you to play? Yeah. Okay, and how did they realize that this is something that you probably could be pretty good at? I think when I was young, my, originally when I was young, my dad just made it really fun for me. And I think because he made it so fun for me, he just made me love the game so much and made me practice a lot, which I think was probably the most important thing, just practicing a lot. Okay. And I would say that this has got to be the most impressive thing that you've done, but I'm going to also say that that's not the case. You were taking junior high classes in what grade? Uh, third grade. Third grade. Yes. You were taking ju at the Treasure Valley Math and Science. Yeah, over right? at River Glen. Okay, over River Glen. And then at that point, you said, well... What about going to college at the age of 14? Yep, pretty much. My brother was applying to colleges, and I'd taken all the math and science classes, which are the classes that I really liked. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, I may as well apply. If I don't get in, then I could keep going to school. But okay. I got in. So so you got in, and then uh, what exactly said, okay, I'm going to go to UCLA? Why did they say, we'll take a 14-year-old in, into this school? Uh, I think a lot of it was the chess. Okay. Um, our, our academics are also very good. But uh, another th the reason I went to UCLA was because... Um, there's a there's a scholarship there called the Stamps Foundation Scholarship. Right. Okay. And they give it to like they give it to five students out of everyone that applies every year. Okay. And I earned it at UCLA. So you did. I did. Okay. So now as you can see, I'm moving a couple pieces here. But what is the if if I were to I'm obviously an amateur chess yeah. player. How how did I move so far? Is the first move obviously the the most important move? Um, probably not. Okay. Although it is important. So usually when you play chess, you want to control the center. So you see, I brought out my pawns in the center, and yep. my knights are controlling the center. Okay. So you moved both of your side pawns up, which usually isn't a very good idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let's change that philosophy. Make yep. that not my way to play. Yeah. You you play or you have a tournament coming up. Yes. So this one, where is it taking place? It's in some? St. Louis. St. Missouri. Louis. Yep. Okay. And what what is it exactly? So it's called the U.S. Junior College Championship. So they invite the top 10 juniors under the age of 21 to play in the 10-day tournament. And it's in, it's called the Round Robin Tournament. So everyone plays against everybody else mm -hmm. over 10 days. And have you ever qualified for this before? Yeah, this is actually my fourth time playing. Your fourth time playing. So yeah. what did you learn those first three times that you think would help you this time? Uh, I think probably the most important thing is, so in chess, um, I already know who's, who's going to be playing at this tournament. So before the tournament, you can go ahead and like look up your opponent's strategies. Really? There's like online databases of their games that you can look at. And you can look up their strategies and try to prepare your own strategies to do. Okay. So in the past, I haven't done that that much. But I think I'm going to try and do that a lot this year because it's really important. It's becoming more important it's like as, as computers become more important in chess. I didn't realize you could scout chess. Yeah, you can. That's, <laughs> that's impressive. Well, that, that'll help then. Yeah, so when, when other kids show an interest in chess... What is the best way to encourage that what, from your experiences? Um, just make, First of all, you just have to make sure they're having fun. If they're not having fun, then they're not going to study on their own, and they're not going to... You really have to study on your own to get good. So if they're not having fun, then they shouldn't... They, they, they really have to have fun. When you so, were starting out, how many hours or games did you play? Um, I don't know. I've probably studied for, for the past, like, ten years. I've probably studied an average of, like, three hours a day. Really? Yeah. And who did you play against? Your brother? Your... Um... Yeah, a lot of it's also online. Okay. There's, there's websites where you can play against like other grandmasters, and like some of the top people in the world play again on these websites. Okay, so that's your so, goal to be a grandmaster. Yeah. So the grandmaster is the highest title you can get in chess. How far away do you think you are from that? I'm pretty close. So to become a grandmaster, you need to get these three things called grandmaster norms. We just have to have an amazing performance in like a really specific tournament. And just one month ago, I got my first one. Nice. Yeah. So usually, once you get the first one, the, the other ones come soon. So at least that's what I'm hoping. So. All right. Well, well, good luck to you in your tournament. And I don't know if we have time to finish this game, but I can right. tell I'm probably doomed already. How many moves? How many moves do you think you uh, could beat me in right here? Uh, probably five more. Five, five more moves. Okay. Maybe before the commercial is yeah, over. Maybe. Well, thank you very much, Luke, and good right. luck to you in your tournament. And we'll be right back.